Hi guys, I'm Barbara from Barbara Makes Crafts and thank you for coming back to my channel today. I have a tutor tutorial for you, a Cricut Group, Attach, and Weld. These are all three different things that look kind of similar but they react in different ways when it comes to cutting your design. So, I, so I am making, for a client, I'm making a glitter tumbler. She saw mine. She loved it. She wanted me to make one. So if you um, want to know how to make these, I have a post on my blog um, simply just called Glitter Tumbler. And I think there's an ombre glitter tumbler on there too. So you can see those and make these for yourself. They are so much fun and they are so cool. And my client's two favorite colors are pink and yellow. So I just did an ombre. She's not expecting that. I, I think she's expecting something a little bit different, either pink or yellow, or um, some, you know, maybe a pink cup with a yellow decal or something. But I thought she would really like this. So, but we are going to make the decal today with her monogram and apply it to this cup it's already prepared uh, for that decal so let's head on over to Cricut Design Space so I, that I can show you how to um, set that up okay so here we are in Design Space and we have started a new project so we have just a blank canvas the first thing I want to do is add the monogram so I'm going to go over here to the left and hit the text icon. Um, my customer wants the font Elizabeth. So I'm going to go to the fonts, scroll down menu. And in the search, I'm going to put in Elizabeth. And Elizabeth comes up. Um, this is one of my favorite fonts. I'm glad she chose this one. So I'm putting caps lock on so I can type. And we're going to type MSA. There we go. Okay, so this is her monogram, her initials. The first thing that I'm going to notice is that the letters are all the same height. In a monogram, we typically see. The, the middle initial will be a little bit longer. So I'm going to select all, I've already selected, go up to the upper right and select ungroup. What this is gonna do is allow me to move each letter separately. So if I click on the A, it's just selecting the A, the S or the M. Okay, so I'm going to start with the S because everything else needs to line up to that. And I'm going to unlock it so that we can adjust the height and width separately. Because I want it to be about two inches tall and I want the total width to be about three or so inches wide. I'm going to lock this so that we can't change the dimensions of that and then I'm going to, well we'll get to that in a second, I'm going to work on the A. So I'll unlock the A. Let me go back and make sure the dimensions of this one. So I want this one to be, you know what, I want this a little bit taller. I think I want it about two and three quarters inches tall. All right, now going back to the A. It's unlocked so we can move what we need to. 
And with that one being two and three quarters inches, I don't want this one to be any more than one and three quarters inches. So we're going to try that. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is put the A just touching the S script letters uh, should be touching. And so I've done that. And I've got that on a grid line. The S is not on a grid line. But that's okay as long as these two match up. I do need to lock this one. All right, so I need this one to be unlocked. And we are going to make it about 1.75 inches tall. Actually, we need to make this the exact height as the A, which is 1.733. So go up here to more. And you can enter your dimensions. Oh, here we are. Okay. You can enter your dimensions separately. 1.646 is what we want. 1.733 is what we want. All right, let's see how wide the A is, 2.049, so let's go here, unlock again, and make this 2.049, and lock it. All right, so now we want to select the M again. We want it down on the same grid line that the A is on. And we want it touching that S. The A needed to come up just a little bit. Okay, so we've got it looking like we want it to look. Letters are touching. They seem to be the right height. So we're going to select all. Now, We're selecting all, and we're going to go back over here and hit group. So now when we move the monogram, we're moving it as one unit. I do want to make it a little less wide, so I'm going to do this in proportion with the height. Because um, I don't want it any more than about four inches or so wide, about two inches tall. I think that looks good. Okay, so there it is. So now we're going to hit make it. So when we hit make it, it's going to pull our mat up and it's showing us how it's going to cut the letters. So you see that the letters are S, M, and A. Um, and they are not cutting as a group like we want them to. They're cutting each letter separately. Your Cricut is automatically going to try to cut the design in the way that's going to save the most space on your canvas. Um, but this is not what we want. We do not want to have to transfer those letters separately. So we're going to go down here where it says Cancel. And it's going to take us back to our canvas. So again, we're going to select the whole thing. We're going to leave it grouped. We're not going to ungroup again. But we are going to go down here and hit Attach. 
um, on the bottom right. And so what that does is it causes the letters to actually touch each other in the design so that when we cut it, it's going to cut the letters the way we want them to. So hit make it again. And you will see here that they're in order. They are touching, but I don't know if you can see this on camera, but if you see right there where the S and the A touch and the S and the M touch, you're gonna get kind of some jaggedy cuts there, not real clean. It is gonna be, it'll work, but it's not the best that can happen. So now we're gonna go back and hit cancel again. Before we weld, we are going to select it and make a duplicate. And because once you weld the layers together, they cannot be, it cannot be undone unless you do it like right away. So we've got our duplicate and you can see here that it is highlighted in the gray because we've got it selected. I'm just gonna go up here where it says attach and that little eye right there, I'm gonna click on it and it causes that um, design, that layer to disappear. So now we're gonna come back here to our main design, go down here to the bottom right again and hit weld. Okay, so now you see the design, it's all hooked up, it's there um, and it's ready to be made. So we'll hit make it again. And you can see that the design is together. It's gonna to cut the way we want it to. But now if you look at these little um, marks here where the M and the A touch the S, you will see that it's a much smoother cut and it's just gonna look so much better. Now I'm gonna hit cancel because I did not save this project. I do like to usually cut from my phone or my iPad because they work on Bluetooth and my computer does not. So I'm saving the project as Marty's monogram. Okay, so now it's saved and we are ready to go to the Cricut machine and do the cut. All right, so we've got our decal on our tumbler. I hope you enjoyed this um, little lesson on group attach and weld and I hope that you will be able to use it. If you have any questions, you can leave the comments down below and I will um, um, get to those as soon as I can and answer them. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am having a contest. Um, when I reach 500 subscribers, I am giving away three Cricut tools to three lucky subscribers. And let me just show you what those are real quick. I'm giving, giving a, a premium fine point blade with a gold housing. I think that's so cool. And I'm giving away a scoring stylus, which will be perfect if you have the Explore Air or the Maker. There, I mean, it'll work on both of them. Um, we'll have to go over how to make it work on the Maker. But, yep, you need that to make cards and whatever. And then my favorite of all, is this blade organizer. It says machine tool organizer, but it will organize all your blades, all your housings. Let me show you mine. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four, five housings in there. There's a space down below where you can keep up to one, two, three, four, five, six, up to nine of the quick swap blades um, apart from their housing and then you've got your housings up here and it all works together so anyway 
lucky winner. And I have them all already. And the last time I checked, those tool organizers especially were out of stock online. I don't know if they're getting any more. Um, I'd have to just keep checking. But anyway, to enter, just subscribe to my um, videos and my tutorials. And um, while you're there, just go ahead and hit that like button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video that I put out. And um, follow me on Facebook. I am under Barbara Makes Crafts. Um, and Pinterest also, Barbara Makes Crafts. And um, I am adding affiliate links to the products I use today in the description below. So um, please use those links. It really does help me keep those lights on and keep these, these crafts and tutorials coming. And um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to comment below. Happy crafting!